All right, joined now by South Carolina. We'll take an opening statement from Coach Kingston, then questions for the student athletes. We'll dismiss them, and then questions for Coach Kingston. Coach, go ahead. Congratulations to Arkansas. Uh, clearly one of the best teams in America, um, and they played probably their best baseball tonight, uh, offensively, pitching-wise, uh, defensively. So uh, tip our cap to them. I um, think we had one heck of a season. Fell nine innings short of where we wanted to go. And it's something we'll build on. All right, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you for questions for the student athletes. Start right here. I'm Jacob Bridge. If, if you guys could both take this. As, as Mark said, really a heck of a turnaround to get here. Just uh, how wonderful was that to get to this point? But how disappointing is it to not get those last nine? This team fights. I mean, we're one unit. And everything we did this year to turn this thing around, um, you know, that's something I'll never forget. Um, you know, it hurts as bad as anything can hurt right now in baseball. I mean, that was, you know, a big game. So we, what we'll do is we'll just keep fighting like we always have. And um, these seniors and these draft guys, um, you know, good luck to them. And, and they, they carried us. So. In the back. Guys, even though this isn't the result that you wanted, how proud are you of what the team accomplished this season? Uh, we're just we're very proud of just everybody that's put everything in, into this. It's kind of crazy how everybody just fights for one another and will go out there and just grind for one another and just. Jake, you will be coming back next year. When does the process start to to really start making this uh, your team along with the other returning guys next year? As soon as we get off the plane. What's the biggest thing that you guys think you learned about your team this season? Um, we learned what Gamecock baseball is all about. And um, fighting for each other, loving each other. That's what it's about, and that's what we're going to keep doing. Rich, could you just expand, expand a little bit more just on the, the chemistry this team seemed to gain and seemed to get stronger as the year went on? And secondly, have you made any decisions on what you're going to do for next year? Um, yes, sir. It was uh, really just after the lost PC. Coach took away our, um, our little video lounge. And that was just a turning point for us. And we just knew we had to change something. And right away, it just clicked. and. We just started fighting for one another and loving one another more than we did before. And uh, yeah, and I have not made a decision yet, not yet. Thank you. For all the experiences you guys had, especially at the end here, you know, going to the Super Regionals, what's the most, I guess, your favorite memory that you'll remember about the run that this team made? Um, it's kind of hard to put that into, into one memory. Everything was so great. Um, you know, words can't really describe how, how awesome this year was and, and playing with my brothers. Jacob down 5 nothing after 1 and 7 after 2. Any doubt in the dugout that you guys couldn't come back and, and that you could get it done? Not at all. Um, we've came back so many times this year, and especially Vanderbilt coming down. I think we were down 8 and came back and won that game. So. No doubt at all. Um, just kept fighting to the end. Any more questions for the student athletes? Gentlemen, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Do the same thing for Coach Kingston. Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. We'll start down front here. Coach, you just feel with Demurius having pitched and, and Sawyer that, that you just were kind of out of bullpen tonight and just out of arms? Well, we thought the guys that we'd give the ball tonight uh, would do the job. Uh, we just but we just didn't. Um, at the end of the day, we have confidence in our guys, and we, we have put them in roles to be successful. And tonight just was not our night. Um, everything we threw up there, they hit, and they hit hard. So once again, sometimes uh, sometimes you just have to give credit to a, to a very good opponent. Mark, what did you say to your team after the game? I said I was extremely proud of them. Uh, 
a lot of things I said to him that I, I'd rather not repeat right now. Um, but I told him I loved him. Told him I'm going to miss a lot of them. And I was really proud of everything that they did this year through the ups and downs. Um, I just I don't want to expand on it too much because uh, there's some things that you keep within that family. Um, but proud is is the proud and love are the two things that you know were the the big summary of that meeting. Mark, looking ahead, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Head to next year, there will be a lot of new faces and a lot of guys who will take over roles. Just uh, how confident are you that you guys can get back to this point despite losing so much uh, experience? Well, we know what the standard is um, in the SEC, in, in South Carolina. We know what the standard is. Uh, we have a lot to replace. There's no question about it. So um, that process, uh, a process will begin very, very soon. Um, and it's just a matter of now of finding the new pieces and how they fit into the into the equation. Um, we'll have a, a good number of guys coming in. We'll have guys that will continue to improve and get better as players that return. Um, so, you know, this this is where we want to get to every every year and have this opportunity to get to Omaha. So, um, every year that we put the uniform on, that will be the goal. Matt? Coach, you've been around this game for a long time, but as you just said, this group is like a family. What is it about this group that is different than any other team you've been around in your career? Well, it, it, you know, they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. They went through a coaching change. They went through uh, some early season struggles. They went through a ton of injuries. They went through um, having their confidence shaken, um, but they overcame all of that, and to me, that's the measure of a team. That's a measure uh, of an individual. Can you overcome all those things? And we did. Uh, we're one of the best te 10 teams in America right now. I, I don't think that can be questioned. Um, ran into maybe the best team in America tonight, and it just it was a roadblock for us. But you know, from where we came from at the beginning of the season, after about 30 games, uh, to get to this point uh, and to see those guys be so devastated to me that shows that they are invested um, and they gave us everything they had because they wouldn't be hurting so bad if they hadn't put so much into it so to me the investment leads to that kind of disappointment um, but that's a good thing Kurt, what kind of update can you give us on eddie and his health and and just how he's doing it? yeah eddie's fine eddie's fine he just his his arm was tired and he just just didn't have it tonight so we got him out of there Mark, for the guys that are coming back, guys like Jacob and TJ, what, what does it do to them to see the other teams celebrate on the field like this in the last game of the year? What kind of motivation is that? Well, it's motivation, sure. Um, you can be motivated by what you want to accomplish, and then you can be motivated by being disappointed that somebody else uh, got to have that celebration in front of you. So there's a lot of things that, that athletes get motivated by, and that'll be one of them. Coach, you mentioned a couple of times, ran into a roadblock in Arkansas, maybe the best team. What, what is it about them that is impressive to you? They just have no weakness. Um, they have good leadership. They have great veteran players. Uh, they have power. They don't have a ton of team speed in terms of stealing bases, but they have a ton of speed on defense, and they make not only the routine play, but the great play. They have good starting pitching. They have uh, some power arms in the bullpen. It's just a team that, that really hard to find ways to beat, and then you, you factor that into playing in, in one of the best environments in America here. Um, it's just a, it's a tough team to face, and proud that we gave them, what, half their losses here in this park. Um, we just needed one more.